So I will pretty much translate what, not translate, but read what um, Venerable Ratana just read in Cambodian. Um, this is a call for Vietnam to honor its commitments on this significant anniversary, which is celebrating 17 years of UN drip. Today, marks the 17th anniversary of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, UN DRIP. 17 years ago, Vietnam and 143 other member states adopted this landmark document, committing to uphold and protect the rights of Indigenous peoples worldwide. UN DRIP represents a crucial step toward recognizing the inherent rights of Indigenous peoples, including their right to self-determination, cultural preser uh, preservation, and the freedom to define their own features. However, for the Khmer Crown, the indigenous peoples of Kampuchea Crown, the Mekong Delta in southern Vietnam, this anniversary is a crucial reminder of their ongoing struggle for recognition and respect. Despite Vietnam's commitment to UN DRIP and its current role as a member of the Human Rights Council, HRC, the Vietnamese government continues to, to deny the Khmer Rouge their fundamental rights, particularly the right to self-identify and exercise self-determination as enshrined in the UN DRIP. The Khmer Rouge have lived on their ancestral land for generations and have a unique cultural, historical, and linguistic identity distinct from the majority ethnic kin population in Vietnam. Yet, Vietnam refuses to recognize the Khmer Rouge as indigenous peoples. This denial is not merely a bureaucratic oversight, but a deliberate policy that systematically strips the Khmer Rouge of their rights to self-determination and to maintain their cultural and spiritual traditions. For 17 years, since adopting UN DRIP, Vietnam has consistently failed to fulfill its obligations to protect the rights of indigenous peoples as outlined in Article 3 and 4 of the Declaration. These articles clearly state that the indigenous peoples have the right to self-determination, freely determine their political status, and pursue economic, social, and cultural development. Vietnam's refusal to acknowledge the Khmer Krom as indigenous violates these fundament, fundamental rights. The denial of indigenous status to the Khmer Krom has severe consequences. It deprives them of the right to participate in decisions affecting their lands, territories, and resources. The Khmer Krom face significant challenges in preserving their language, practicing their culture, and maintaining their traditional livelihoods. They are subjected to restrictions on their freedom of expression, association, and peaceful assembly. Rights protected under international human rights law, this denial not only undermines their cultural and spiritual identity, but also hinders their socioeconomic development and well-being. Furthermore, the Vietnamese government continues to control and monitor the activities of Khmer Krom Buddhist monks, who are central to, to the community's cultural and spiritual life. Attempts by the Khmer Krom Buddhist monks to exercise their religious freedom and promote Khmer Krom identity are met with harassment, intimidation, arrests, and imprisonment without fair trial. Currently, 13, there are 13, Khmer Krom Buddhist monks and activists are imprisoned for standing up for their indigenous and religious rights. These actions starkly contra contrast with Vietnam's obligations under international treaties, including the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, ICCPR, to which Vietnam is a state party. As a member of the Human Rights Council, Vietnam has a has a heightened responsibility to lead by example in upholding human rights standards. Yet, its treatment 
of the Khmer Grand demonstrates a clear disregard for its international obligations. Vietnam's continued refusal to recognize the Khmer Grand as indigenous peoples and to respect their rights to self-determination and cultural preservation is a violation not only of the UN drip, but also of the principles of human dignity and equality that underpin the United Nations Charter. On this 17th anniversary of UN Drift, it is urgent for the international community and the United Nations to hold Vietnam accountable for its commitments. The Khmer's Cambodia Ground Federation, KKF, has tirelessly advocated for the recognition of Khmer Ground rights at the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, UNPFII, for the past 20 years. Despite these efforts, Vietnam has remained steadfast in its denial, perpetuating discrimination and assimilation against the Khmer Grand. We call on the United Nations and the international community to, one, preserve Vietnam to recognize the Khmer Grand as indigenous peoples. As a member of the Human Rights Council, Vietnam should be held to the highest standards of human rights compliance. The UN must call on Vietnam to recognize the Khmer Grand as indigenous peoples, respecting their right to self-identity and their rights to self-determination as enshrined in UN drift. Two, ensure the protection of human rights defenders. The UN and its member states should demand the immediate and unconditional release of the 13 Khmer Grand Buddhist monks and activists. Vietnam must seize all forms of harassment, intimidation, and violence against Khmer Grand human rights defenders, activists, and Buddhist monks advocating for indigenous rights. Three, promote full participation of Khmer Grand in the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Vietnam must include Khmer Grand communities in implementing the SDGs particularly those related to reducing inequalities, ensuring quality education, and promoting, promoting peace, justice, and strong institutions. Four, establish a monitoring mechanism. The UN should establish a mechanism to monitor Vietnam's compliance with its international obligations under UN DRIP, ICCPR, and other relevant human rights treaties that Vietnam ratified. This will ensure that Vietnam is held accountable for its actions and that the rights of the Khmer Grand protect are protected and promoted. Thank you.